video. Um, this week's video is going to be another Pixie Grow Out video and this is the stage we're at right now. This is Bob's stage and everybody has something different that they do at this stage. Typically what it us usually involves is the fact that your uh, Pixie has grown out to the point that you can sort of consider it chin length and then you'll have all these little hangy down pieces and when you cut those off then it automatically looks like a bob. And the picture that I took into the stylist was the one that you'll see here. This is a picture of Natalie Wood. It is sort of the same classic bob that was popular in the 1920s when Louise Brooks made it popular and then it was uh, later on made popular again in the 50s and 60s. So this is what I was going for and I had never had it before and I absolutely love it. I actually prefer it to the Pixie. I know you, most of you will not, but that's okay. I actually really, really love it. It's very versatile. It doesn't seem like it would be, but it really, really is. You can do so much with it. Um, you can actually, like when you aim it behind your ears, it has a little bit different look to it and I just really enjoy it. It's just one that I'm really really having a fun time with right now. So um, yeah so that's that and then I'm also was gonna let you guys know what's coming up. I have a lot of series on my channel and those of you who are new to my channel may not realize what that is. It's easier for me to keep everything that I would like to do categorized whenever I have series going. So I have like a high humidity series and then I have a series called the Starlet series in which I kind of tackle one style or one full look from each year of cinema starting in 1920. So I'm only up to 1922 in that series but I did do an initial Starlet series all the way back in 2009 that you can go look, see a few of those. Some of them have had to be removed, but the majority of them are still up, I believe. Uh, but 1920 and 1921 are definitely up, and then 1922 was already going to be a shorter hairstyle, so that's going to work for that series. Uh, that will be coming up soon. Um, it will be a 1922-inspired look based on uh, one of the stars from that decade, or from that year, actually. And then I'll also, I also have what's called the Animated Angels series, which is where we kind of take um, animated girls, like girls from the movies, from the Disney movies or from any other animated feature films, and we sort of make a modern interpretation that's very wearable and sort of calls that character to mind without actually being full-on costume. So I have that series going. I've also got a series called the Pinup series, which is classic pinup um, art from the greats like Gil Elvgren. Edward Runcie and just some of the best of the pinup art um, artists I usually will take and, and recreate a style from those and they're usually really easy because they were done in painting so it's usually very very simple to recreate those looks. I have a makeup series that one's just makeup so I'm trying to kind of tackle one of each of those. Um, I probably will do the Starlet series first but that's what we've got coming up. I also have a couple of pairs of jeans to show you from a company called Lady K Loves. I've been eyeing this company on Instagram for a very long time and they recently sent me a couple of pairs of jeans to try and they are incredible, incredible. So I'm excited to show you the details of those and why they're so excellent, why they're so different from anyone else. And yeah, that's about it. So we're going to move on with the tutorial right now, but if you have any questions about upcoming videos or any requests, um, the Diamonds and Dames series is also still going. That is an all request series, and that is based on styles that you've seen worn by your favorite leading ladies in any of the films from the classic film era, and you can let me know. I would like to know how to learn how to, or how to do this style, and I can show you a video that will be as close as I can do um, of that style, and so we've got quite a few of those going as well lots of episodes of Diamonds and Dames coming. So that's all for now. And let me know, like I said, if you have any questions and hopefully we will uh, be back at you next week with a new video. But this is this week's video. So bye. <laughs>
I can't shake him, I can't escape him That devil ain't no man, he's a stranger a Stranger dressed in black He took away my baby Ain't gonna bring her back He took away my baby Ain't gonna bring her back Every time your lips meet mine A shiver travels right up my Every time that you're 